I know what I do to catch a bass though. There's another one. And this place is really special because it's in the down, middle of downtown Winchester and it gets a lot of pressure for trout. But people don't understand saying that there's also some good bass in here too. And so let's see what we can do today. So what we're gonna be using is, one of my favorite baits to use here guys, is six pound fluorocarbon line, six pound liter to 12 pound braid. And I'm using a little TRD tube and the smallest little jig head possible I can get away with. Now, one key is fish here. There's a good crayfish population along with trout, but the bass, the active bass, will actually be using this retaining wall as an ambush point. So they'll be facing it. So a lot of our casts today are gonna be actually as close to the wall as I can get it. So let's get started. So this wall here acts as like an ambush point. And so bass will actually look at the wall and ambush stuff as it comes by. Got one. Oh my goodness, I just had one. I just had one right there, guys, while I was talking. There's no way he's gonna bite again. Because what they use this retaining wall as is an ambush point, just like you would um, a, a dock or a piece of, of cover. This wall is actually cover. And so what a lot of people like to do is make massive casts out this way. But what you need to be doing is making casts parallel to the wall in that kill zone. And what I'm throwing is a just a, a mini tube, a TRD mini tube. This is a medium light rod with a 12 pound braid. And the reason I like to go so super light is just from the, the pressure. Okay, these fish are so used to people fishing. And I really feel like that super light line gives me that, that little extra, got one. Oh shoot. There's some weird vegetation here too. Look at all this weird grass. Guys, let me know in the comment section below, what type of grass do you think this is? I think it's important is that there's only so many places there's only so many key pieces, key points in, in the body of water where active fish are gonna set up. Now let's say like there's one log and if a bass is on that log, he's in eating mode versus if there's 10 logs. Got one, got one. Ah, fish number one. It's right there along the rock. Now guys, okay, hey, he's a little guy. Uh, he's a little bit smaller. But still, for January, this is my first bass, and he is freaking cold. But again, look at where we are. We're in the middle of downtown Winchester. Got this place completely to ourselves, but we're fishing it differently. We're keying in on the primary ambush points. And this is a small bait, and he did not hit it very hard. I picked it up, and the line moved. That's all it was. Let's get right back in there. Get as close to that retaining wall as possible. So again, we're just keeping that bait right in that kill zone. And I'm just gonna leave it there for a second before I try to pick it up. And again, you're trying to count like every single rock you can. Count every rock you can and just slowly drag that thing. Did you want that super light head? That light head actually really helps it so you don't get snagged on the bottom. Got him. Oh my God, I cannot believe I got him. Did you guys see that? Look at that. In the mouth. Look at him. Again, he's small, but look at where we are again. It's insane that we're having this kind of like, and you don't have to go very far for that, but you gotta match the right gear to catch these fish. And he's a little chunker too. Look at it, he's got a nice little belly on him beautiful but he was nose down he was nose down like that looking at a rock and i just saw him out of the corner of my eye because he his tail his tail moved and then i noticed him but he was nose down and so i just slowly dragged it something over a rock and he looked at it and when it fell down the rock he just slurped it up if you can tell if you ever come by a fish if you're walking the bank or if you're fishing along in a kayak or a boat and you can tell how the fish are positioned it tells you what they're forging if they're facing kind of looking down or lower to the bottom, but it doesn't look like they're looking up at you. They're hitting stuff on the bottom. Gobies, crayfish, things like that. So the thing too about a pond is, you know, if you guys fish a pond consistently, what you'll find out is that there are certain areas or ambush points. And so even if you like see one that's like on a rock or a stick or something, 
come back, make a mental note where that rock is, and then make that cast. And imagine he's right there sitting there watching it. But yeah, I mean, like the bigger ones are gonna use that retaining wall. You'd be surprised like at how freaking shallow they can get and hide. Cause they think this is like neutral. So they could lay like right flat there and you'd not see them. Got him, got him. Big one, big one guys, big one. Guys, this is a big one. Guys. That is nuts. Oh my God. They're in here. Oh, that'll be good for the channel. <sighs> right there. I wish I had a damn scale, but at least got a camera. Nicely done. Thank you, sir. I'm thinking it's, yeah, at least three. She's beautiful. And they're in here too. Yeah, they stocked these. That's a bass, right? Yeah. Throw a trout. Throw a trout. Throw a trout. Throw a trout. Nope, that's a bass. Thought. <laughs> my first yeah. <laughs> so guys, they're in here. Another beautiful one. I made the front page of the Winchester Star for my first ever single song. Oh, awesome, dude! Congratulations. Yeah, just last year. That's awesome. Well, definitely keep up the good work then. And hopefully uh, I'll see you on... Uh... I'll leave you to it. Yeah, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Not a problem, but hey, that was beautiful. Hey, thank you, bud. You have a good one. Oh my God, finally. One good cast. All right, right up against the bank. Let's see what happens here. Look at the size of that trout, guys. He is just chilling there. You know, let me know in the comment sections below, how do you trout fish? I really want to get into trout fishing. I've never really done it before. What would you use to catch him? I know what I'd do to catch a bass, though. There's another one. Right there. He's a small one. You know, hey. Again, he's small. But again, guys, it's January. A highly pressured pond, tiny tube, six pound line, main line. And look at him. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it.